Recipes for Technical Trading Success in Cook's Kitchen. Welcome to the Illuminator concept. Ford is going to just keep surprising us, uh, especially in EV land and uh, throwback land. Here's a, th this was the truck from the 1970s, right? I had some buddies who had these. these. These were great little trucks, especially if you had dual exhaust. They sounded so sweet. Well, so yesterday they announced this is the F100 Illuminator, um, and it comes with what they're calling an EV crate motor. So I didn't even know what that was, but essentially you're going to be able to um, buy this motor separately for for like 3,900 bucks. Here it is down here, um, and and it's just going to give gearheads uh, a chance to experiment because you could throw two of them in a truck if you wanted to. Uh, so we're going to look more at that and we'll look at some reviews of it first heads up. Uh, we're doing it again this week. We had so much fun with it last week. Uh, a call with cooker. All you got to do real simple in the YouTube video description below this video. Uh, there is a link to an article, Cl go to that article and there's a code in the article. Take that code, go to Twitter. Uh, my pinned Twitter post has an NVIDIA graphic, the, um, the reinvention of Moore's law, basically with, uh, with, uh, parallel process, massively parallel architectures and, and CUDA software, uh, take that code, follow Kevin B cook at tw on Twitter, and then retweet the NVIDIA post with the code. Um, some people didn't, uh, there's, you know, there's three steps here and some people didn't get the idea. You have to retweet my NVIDIA post with the code here. I'll show it to you right here. So that's, this is my Twitter feed at Kevin B. Cook. Here is the um, NVIDIA post that I'm talking about with my article, The Technology Supercycle. So you'll just take the code from the article that you get in the YouTube description, bring it here, follow me, retweet with the code. All right, let's get back to Ford. So uh, here was uh, the drive. I think they just, uh, uh, yesterday, they were right on this news. Um, and talking about how you can buy this motor and what they think people are going to do with this motor. If they can buy, basically, you're buying an electric motor in a crate. So that's why they call it the EV crate motor. Um, and uh, they're, they're pretty excited about it. And this is a, you know, this is a sweet truck. Let's look at some of the specs here on the Illuminator. I think, uh, I think the drive had them. Um, here they're taking a look at it. Uh, well, you can... They they do a good review of of this new hardware. Let's go back to Ford, and we can get the specs right from Ford itself. So this F100 Illuminator concept truck showcases the benefits of electric propulsion using a 2021 Mustang Mach E GT. So the Mach E um, was was the new Mustang EV this year. Um, so they've got the powertrain twin front and rear electric traction motors that produce a combined 480 horsepower and 634 pounds of, of uh, foot torque. That's uh, that's some power right there. Can you imagine this little truck uh, flying by you and, and uh, jumping off uh, the stop, uh, the stop mark? Boy, it's going to be exciting. I think people are going to, you know, it, it, it combines, you know, it's old school and new school, right? So I, I think a lot of people are going to have fun with it. And then I can't wait to see what some uh, some gearheads are going to build with these electric motors. It's going to be really interesting. Um, they're they're going to have to build new drag strips, you know, <laughs> maybe maybe uh, maybe half mile drag strips for what these things can do. And, you know, getting uh, zero to 60 in four seconds, that kind of thing. So a lot of details here on the Ford press release. Let's uh, let's take a look at the Ford chart because let's zoom in a little bit here. So after in May when they announced the F-150 Lightning, um, it's pretty exciting. Stock took off from you know 11 up to 16, and when it pulled back, I said let's be buyers under 14, and we were. Um, I wrote this piece explaining why. I said the F 150 Lightning will crush the Tesla Cybertruck. Now, that might sound like a little bit of hyperbole, but what I mean is I think the F-150 Lightning will sell more. And it looks like production-wise, 
um, you know, Tesla might be behind on the Cybertruck or changing the design. I don't know. But I think this is Ford's reinventing and this is the way to go. I'll have I'll link to this article uh, in my in my article where I go over, you know, a lot of the features of the F-150 Lightning. I mean, it's really it becomes, as I said, it becomes a tech platform. Um, it's an intelligent, connected vehicle in so many ways. And I, I say, you know, if Apple built a truck, it would be the F-150 Lightning. Um, so that's their that's the the Jim Farley EV ecosystem vision. Again, this article will be linked in today's article. All right, so let's go back and look at this price chart and see what's up because, so here we are. I mean, if you followed me and you bought under 14 bucks, you're up over 30%, making new highs today here, 18, 1830. Um, so, you know, the earnings last week were, there was much love. Um, you see the volume here. This is a weekly chart, by the way. Uh, traded uh, 545 million shares. Um, just confirmation that auto investors, EV investors like what they're seeing. So let's zoom out and see. I told you we'd take out 1650. We did. Let's see where the resistance is now. Look at we're already above the double top. 2013, 2014. The double top was about 18 bucks. We're already through that. I didn't think we'd get through there that fast. I really didn't. And now you're looking at challenging um, the highs, you know, uh, we'll just call it 19. So this thing's on its way to 19. It's on its way to 20, really. I mean, that's what we're holding for is I, I plan to unload some shares up at 20. So if you followed me there, congratulations. Stick with it. It looks like it's paying off. Let's see what else I wanted to show you here. Oh, and if you want, uh, you know, I'm always looking for other opinions on the Cybertruck versus the F-150 Lightning. Here's Tom's guide with a good article, a good recent article. There were a lot of articles in the spring. Um, now that there's been more time to more, more research and more thoughtful opinions are coming forth. So this is a pretty good one. And he's got a really great uh, uh, summary table here of, you know, Price, power, range, charging. And, you know, there's a lot of unknowns about range. Right now, you know, based on this analysis, um, Ford's coming in light on the range. Now, my uh, and just to recap my thesis of why the, I think the F-150 Lightning will have better sales than the Cybertruck is because they really built it for the independent contractor or the commercial fleet. Actually, both, right? So you get, if you get a few percentage points of uh, independent contractors uh, or commercial fleets adopting the F-150 Lightning, it's going to create um, an enthusiasm and, and an awareness of the brand and the vehicle and, you know, going EV with a work truck, you know, a truck that's got 18 outlets in it that a, a, a contractor can pull up and run, uh, you know, run a saw or lights or whatever. Um, you get them to adopt, then other people are going to adopt it too. So I think it'll 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 have much wider brand appeal in the same in the same pricing area, right? Starting at forty thousand. I mean, a contractor or a fleet. They, they, well, the fleet may not want to trick it out, but the contractor is definitely going to be tricking it out with with all the options. Um, and again, my article here from July twenty second has a big list of all the intelligent connected features. Um, somewhere in here, but I'll, I'll get, I'll link to that. So that's how I think, that's how I think Ford wins here with, uh, with the F-150 Lightning and why this stock can go to 20, um, back to, back to Tom's guide here. Um, you know, th again, there's a lot of unknowns. Nobody's guaranteeing that, that the F-150 Lightning is even going to have 300 miles in range or that the Cybertruck's going to do 500. Um, obviously the cyber trucks built out the hardware to have that. I just think the F-150 Lightning will have more practical appeal and it's a beautiful looking truck. I mean, if you've, um, I, I should show some pictures of the F-150 Lightning, but just, just Google it. Um, and there's a lot of guys reviewing this on YouTube too. So I think I covered everything I want to talk about today. Um, 
you know, here's the press release from Ford where you can learn more about the EV crate. Um, here was the drive doing, uh, digging down into, into what, uh, gearheads want to know. And, oh, I got to show you what, uh, what my favorite gearhead had to say. First of all, uh, I don't know if you know Dave Bartosiak, our Zach's resident Mustang and Corvette enthusiast. Um, he, uh, first of all, he said the EV crate engine is badass. Uh, and I asked him for a more extended quote. Um, and here's what he had to say. We are starting to see the fruits of Ford's labor over the last several years. They are looking back to their heritage and leaning on tradition while making the leap to electrification. Embracing the old to help usher in the new rather than radically changing direction and leaving their legacy behind. They are doing it right. Um, I got to agree. I mean, that's so that that's what struck me about the F-150 Lightning is that it's still an F-150. It's just fully electrified, connected and intelligent. Um, and that's how I think Ford wins here. All right. So uh, be sure to look for the description below the YouTube video. Click on that link. Takes you to an article. Grab the code. Go to Twitter and repost my uh, NVIDIA pin tweet with that code. All right. We'll talk to you next week.